some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Greenfield, Massachusetts with Josh from Accountability for All, one of the protégés of Chile de Castro and some other loser of a frauditor who breaks his own camera and blames it on somebody else. And guess what? He goes crying to the cops about it. Boo hoo hoo. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, he's pulling his camera out. Huh? Don't take my picture. I gotta take a picture. Don't don't, don't touch the phone. Don't, don't touch me. Listen, don't, don't touch me, bud. Don't touch, don't don't touch his shit. Don't, don't touch it. Let go right now. Let go right now. I'm asking you, do not Listen, you know you know what's gonna happen now, buddy? Don't touch him. Don't touch him. That's not a song. You're taking my picture. Don't touch him. Let go. Do this frauding thing long enough, and odds are there's going to be somebody that's going to take exception to you filming them and put their hands on the camera. In this case, it did happen, but it's not going to be the other guy that breaks the camera. It's going to be the frauder himself. I don't want you to Let go. I don't give a fuck. Let I don't give a fuck what you want. Let go of my shit. Alright, now I'm gonna tell you a I'm gonna tell you a gonna tell you a gonna tell you gonna you gonna gonna I'm taking your picture still. I am. I asked you not to take my picture. I asked you not to take my picture. I was taking your picture. I'm recording. Again, don't take my picture. You can't take my picture on the Rest in pieces, poor little camera. You know, Frauditor, that guy never touched you. And you know what? You should figure it's going to be inevitable that you break equipment by accident along the way in your journeys. It's just the nature of the job. I mean, sometimes you accidentally drop the camera just as you did a moment ago. But don't blame it on other people. Just go buy another one. You buy it, you gotta see about that. You gotta see about that. You gotta see about that. You're gonna have to call, mine ain't working. Yo, you broke my shit. Yeah, bro. mine ain't working, you gotta have to call. You broke my shit. Oh, he's, in, he's in trouble now. He's in trouble now. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Get the get the license plate. Main Street and Miles. Three zero eight one one eight four. Three zero eight one one eight four. Oh, look at that, man. You know, this video carries on for quite a while longer. So I'm just going to skip ahead to when the cops show up. 15 minutes later. So the moment that you smash yeah, it on the ground, the everything breaks.
five minutes later. It looks like the camera hit the. Can I see the video one more time? Yeah, no Just problem. Talk to you real quick before we look at the video. So it looked like the camera might have hit the ground. Well, you can video. I'm gonna video. Okay, but yeah, man. If you can stay here. I want to talk to the other officer. I'm just going to document our interaction. He was a victim. Absolutely. He was assaulted. Absolutely. And you, you know, you're free to do that. Perfect. So, so we're going to do that. Over here so I can speak with the yeah, officer. Like, we're not going to obstruct. Obstruct is a physical act. We're not going to do that. We just want to monitor our investigation here. Oh, wow. Obstruction is a physical act. How predictable of a poorly educated frauditor. Get some new material that hasn't been debunked a million times. Investigation about him. The reason I'm, I'm doing this is because this guy over there looks like... I'm explaining to him the other side Go of ahead, the story, man. which isn't part of the audio. Go ahead, man. So if you can stay over there... Listen, everything is on camera. There's no other side of the story. So if you want to try and spin it, spin it. Go ahead. If there is one thing I find, well, one of many things, but this one in particular, if there is one thing I find rather hypocritical about you idiots, it's that you whine and complain about the police all the damn time, don't want them to get involved, but when it comes to your safety, yeah, you want them to help you out. Such hypocrisy. So... I didn't. I didn't see in the video him grab your wrist. It looks like he just grabbed the camera and twisted around. Um, do you? Whatever it was, he made my hand twist around. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like he grabbed the camera and twisted it right around. Um, so obviously we'll document the damage to the camera um, and the two microphones or the one mic, but it's a obviously it's a, a complete set. set. So I we'll document. You got the OF number? Yes, but under Massachusetts, um, if we're looking at assault. An extension or an o a camera object is an extension can, can be considered no, an extension I was just saying of a person. He, he said he might have grabbed his arm, so I just, I just want to let him know that. In the video, yeah, oh, no, no, no doubt. No doubt, yeah. So I'm, I guess, like, so So what happens? What happens with him? With him? With the, the guy on the truck. So he'll, get, he'll get the... So I'm going to take the paperwork, send it into court, and he'll get summons in the court for the damage and stuff like that. Okay. Is okay. it just going to be damage to the property or will it be assault or... Um, I have to. I have to look. I just want to have to verify if it. Uh, you said the camera's extension. I'm not sure if the court's going to classify him grabbing the camera and pulling it. If that's going to be an assault, um, I'll look into it. If it is, you know, all I saw on the camera was the frauditor accidentally smashing his camera on the sidewalk. That's all I saw, frauditor. There is no reason for you to be embarrassed. Accidents happen all the time. So you'll get paper, he'll get paperwork in the mail for it. And obviously, can I get your name so I can put you as a victim or a witness? Nothing, so nothing's going to happen to this guy. Well, he'll get summons to court. I mean, if it goes to court, I'll be glad to, to yeah, provide my information then. Especially because of the video. Oh, Yo, I can, I can just, if you give me your card, I'll email you the video. Sure, that'll be And fun. then if you guys, uh, if the prosecution needs a witness moving forward, then I can the assist video, them. The video would be perfect get sent. So that's all my information. Well, we all know accidents happen. And in this case... Unfortunately, the camera paid the price because the frauditor was just so clumsy. He accidentally dropped the camera on the sidewalk. As I said before, frauditor, there's no need to be embarrassed. Just go out and get another one, and it'll be fine. And I mean, sure, yeah, the guy touched your camera, but he didn't contribute to its destruction. I mean, really, you only have yourself to blame in this case.